before we start, I'm going to give you like a fast overview of the corner of my room. Maybe you've seen it, you've seen my other videos, like my room tour video, stuff like that. And both of these units are from Ikea. This is where I have my curly hair products. And on the top, I have mostly skincare. I have it here now, but I want to do something else to it, more organized. I'm looking on Pinterest every night, see what I find, but you know, I haven't decided yet. I'm thinking maybe acrylic shelves for my bathroom, but you know, I'll keep looking. So right underneath the skincare, we have Uncle Funky's daughter. I've been on their PR list for a while and I like most of it. The problem is their products are more for, I think, um, thicker hair. It's for curly hair, but it's like for thicker hair. And my hair is curly, but it's really thin, probably because I dye it. So sometimes the stuff is just too heavy. Let me just show you around. This is Thirsty Curls Leave and Curl. I like this. I use this. Rich and Funky Moisturizing Cleanser and the Conditioner. These work well with my hair. Both of these. In the back, good hair. Styling cream. I like. Leave-in conditioner. I like. And the gel, like the, the best for me, the styling product. At least for my type of hair, is the Curly Magic. And this is just like a little travel pack they sent me. Let me show you. It just has like one of each, but small, like for travel. Over here, I have the moisture cream to style. This is what I'm telling you. Like, I like this, but I have to use very little because it's very thick. Same with the extra butter, curl forming cream. And I have two of their masks, the Human Renew, which I like. I like the results I get. The smell, not too much. It has something in it. Let me see. Yeah, the smell is kind of, I think maybe minty. I'm getting something minty in there. So I don't like the smell. I like more coconut, fruity smell. So, but it works though. It's really good. Um, this is just a small mask. I probably got this for free when I bought something at Sephora. I haven't used it yet. On this side, I have a small of the Curly Magic, but the rest of these things are for when you blow out your hair. At least like these, the ones that say thermal. And I, like honestly, I blow out my hair maybe once a year, but I used it and I liked it a lot. But even though I don't blow out my hair anymore, I'm still using these. This has essential oils. This is like a thermal protectant, so I use it anyway. Say I'm going to the beach or I know I'm going to be under the sun. And this is a split end serum. I use this on my ends. And this spray is like a hair polish glossy. I've used it once. I didn't like it. It felt like very oily, but I'm going to try it again. And then this smells so good. So this is a Shining Star Hair and Scalp Elixir. It says fragrance-free, but it smells so good. I find that it smells so good. I like to pre-poo or, in other words, I put oil in my hair before I shampoo. Massage in my hair, and I love the results when I do that. So that's this cubby. Then we go to the side. I try to do like a white and purple theme. Over here, this is new. It's a Redken Blondage Express Anti-Breast. Because I tone my hair every, like, every two months, every month and a half. And it's getting expensive. All those prices went up. So I bought this to use, like, before conditioner or treatment to see if it helps. I haven't even tried it. It's, like, brand new. So I have to see if it works. Back there, I have Not Your Mother's Curl. I have the leave-in conditioner. And the mousse. It works with my hair, but I don't like it sometimes because it leaves my hair like really crunchy. And then in front of that, I have royalty curls. We have the crown defining custard, it's like a gel. And their hair oil. And the vitamins they sent me. This is like a small company from Instagram. But I love their stuff. Like this gel works really good with my hair. And like I said before, I like to oil before I shampoo sometimes. So I use this hair oil too. And everything smells really, really good. I'm trying the vitamins out now. 
trying to grow my hair for some reason. It hasn't been growing like it used to. It, it will grow really, really fast and it's been slowing down. I don't know what it is, if it was after COVID, if it was because uh, of surgery that I got, I had to have gallbladder surgery. You know, and I wasn't feeling my best and I guess, like my hair wasn't growing and my nails weren't even growing. So I'm, I'm using these right now. I'm gonna use them for the whole 30 days and just see if it works, you know, if it grew my hair faster. Over here, I have Innersense Organic Beauty. I love this stuff. This works so well with my hair. It's very moisturizing. Here I have the hair bath, the leave-in conditioner, um, the daily conditioner. Like these things, the conditioner and the hair bath, I had in my shower. I had to pull them out for this video. But they work really, really good with my hair. I also use... The cup here in the front, I have their oil, their harmonic treatment oil. I use this for the scalp, like to massage. I love it too. Let me see if I have something else. Oh, and this too. This is the Inner Peace Whipped Cream Chesturizer. It's really nice and it smells really, really good. I like that too. I have All A Plus number three. I know they're like in some drama right now, but I'm going to tell you, I dye my hair lighter and this works for me. I stopped using it and I was getting so many split ends again and I started using it again. I bought this big one maybe a month ago from Ulta. So I don't know. Uh, it works for me. I always buy either from Sephora or Ulta. Like I never get it on Amazon or anything. I don't know if that's maybe people are getting like fake all up plants. I don't know, but. For, I know for a fact it's worth for me to now. It's not like a treatment after you shampoo. You have to use it before you shampoo, which is kind of weird. Like even me, when I first used it, I thought it was like a conditioning treatment. And of course I, I used it wrong. And then when I read the directions, I found out you have to use this like a couple minutes on wet hair, but like before you shampoo. All I know is this made me read the directions before I use products. Cause I was just using stuff Everything I would buy, I would use it as a treatment. Not everything's a treat, like a deep conditioning treatment. So then here in the front, I have like more Olaplast number zero. You're supposed to use this before number three. I don't find the difference. I don't even use that. I got this, the number six. It says leave-in styling treatment. I like it, but it's just like a leave-in conditioner. Over here, I have the, ooh, I don't know how to pronounce this. But you know what brand this is? This is a very popular brand. This is a leave-in conditioner. I had an even smaller one in the bathroom, and I'm already out. And I love this. This works so good for my hair. So this, I totally recommend. And over here, I have Bum Bum Bumble Invisible Oil Primer. It's a heat UV protector, so I use that when I'm going to be in the beach all day. Because like I said, I don't blow out my hair or anything. Um, over here, I must have like more oils. With the Innocence oil I already showed you. I have this one. It says Hair Revile Elixir from Earth Harbor. I liked it, but it kind of changed color. So I got to check if it's still good. I have the other plants, number seven. I use this on my ends. Almost every morning, I like this a lot. These two I got in like a Sephora favorites box and I haven't used them yet, but I looked them up and they're really expensive, so they must be really good. I'm probably gonna try them out on my ends or maybe to when I do my hair and it's really crunchy, to take out that crunch, I'll probably use these oils. I haven't tried them out yet, so I'm not sure if I'm gonna like it, but I probably will because I love oils. We're gonna just go down. I have like, OG stuff. This is the stuff I started with when I changed to like all curly. It's Curlsmith and Shea Moisture. Both brands I love a lot. Curlsmith is a lot more expensive than Shea Moisture, but I, I love them both a lot. Let's go over here first. So here we have Shea Moisture, Jamaican Black and Castor Oil. Oh my God, what a long name. But it's the leave-in conditioner. Look, I'm almost out. I have like very little. It's really nice. I rebought this so many times, but I'm trying to try new things, not the same thing over and over. So I haven't repurchased it. Over here, I have two masks from Shea Moisture. When I feel like my hair needs protein, I use this mask. 
if I think it needs moisture, I use this one. Both are really good. This one I like a lot because honestly, since it's a moisturizing mask, I leave it on one hour, two hours, even three. When I'm doing stuff in the house, I just leave it in my hair. Get really nice results. Over here, I have just these two um, Briogeo. They're a deep conditioning mask. I have the Don't Despair Repair and Be Gentle, Be Kind. So I just get the smaller ones because this is expensive. They sell this at Sephora. So of course, I want to try with the small one before I buy the big one. Get these out of the way. In the back, I have Vanessa's hairspray. I don't use a lot of hairspray, but if I need one, it's back there. Everything else here is Curl Smith. This is the Curl Quenching Conditioning Wash. It's supposed to be like for cold washing. Um, some curly girls don't shampoo their hair. They just like rinse out and cold wash. But I use this like as a shampoo, honestly, because since I dye my hair, tone it and all that stuff i i feel like i need to shampoo so i use this it's very moisturizing when i feel i need to clarify i use this one this is their core strength shampoo i have their bond curl rehab salt so this is like all up plus but like the curl smith version you use it the same way you have to put it on wet hair before you shampoo and condition i usually alternate between all up plus and this one and what's left here is styling products this one I repurchased like three times. It's really good. It's the curling cream. It has protein in it. But even though it says it has protein, it leaves my hair really, really soft. And my curls very defined, so I like this a lot. And in the same line, we have the Bouncy Strength Volume Foam. What I usually do is I just put it in my, like, close to my roots to get volume. But sometimes I just style just with this. And I like how it looks. It gives you volume for real, like for real. We here... I have the Curl Defining Styling Souffle, which is that gel. This one's probably almost done. It's so good. This gel is really good. You only need a very, very little bit. Like, I'm not kidding. Just a little bit, and your hair looks so nice after you use this. But like I said, this is more expensive, so I try to catch it on sales, you know. Man, I have to take a break to drink some water because I think I've been talking for a while. On this side, we have we have a lot of brands back here. We have Dry Bar, Mish, Evolve, some Amica. So let me go through this. Let me get the light closer. In the back, I just have the box where the Evolve Discovery Kit came. Since I have the box, let me talk about it. They sent me their kit to try out, like their travel sizes. So they sent me the hydrating wash, hydrating conditioner, the defining cream and the leave-in conditioner. I loved it a lot. I did my hair with this. I think I, I made a reel on Instagram and they shared it on their site, but it was so nice. My hair was so nice after this. Since I loved it, I wrote back to them, see if I could get on their PR list because this stuff was nice for real. Um, This is like a clarifying shampoo from Aromaze. It says scalp purifying liquid shampoo. And it works really good to clarify, like when I have like exactly what it says, itchy scalp, I use this, it works really good. The smell's not my favorite. It's like maybe spa-like, but it smells like a lot like herbs and stuff. Not my favorite. Like I said, I like fruity smells. So on this side, I have the Dry Bar Gin Twist line. I have their Curl Quenching Shampoo and their conditioner. I love their shampoo. Their conditioner is good too, but at least me, every time I shampoo my hair, I do a treatment. I just think it works better because I do dye my hair. So I hardly use conditioners, but it worked really good too. The stylers that I have are the Curl Conditioning Styler, which I like a lot. It's like a cream. And my favorite is this right here, which is their Gin Twist Edge Control Gel. I tried it like for my whole head, but you gotta use a real small amount because it's thick, but my favorite way to use is for the edges. Here in the front, these are like newer products. This is a green cocoa hair mask um, from Remelier. I got this from Amazon and I liked it. It works for my hair. The smell is like kind of spa-like. And underneath, this is like my favorite one right now. I got this on a sale. I forget the name of the sale Sephora has like in the end of the year. So I got this like on sale and it was in a, a Sephora favorites package. Cause this cost like $40 just on its own. 
But since I got it in the package and on sale, I paid a lot less and I love it. It's so good. It's like my favorite right now. You know when you have a favorite and you use it every day? That's what I'm doing with this. And this is from Amika. It's called The Cure and it's an intense bond repair mask. So on the left side, I have like a bunch of mesh products. They sent me all this to try and I fell in love with it. And excuse the messiness, but like I had some of this in my bathroom. Like this is my favorite. So when I need moisture, I either use this one or the Shea Moisture one. Probably like halfway, yeah. So that's that uh, moisturizing treatment. We have the protein treatment. Like when I need protein, I use this one. It's really good too. They smell really good too. So here's their curl defining gel. I like their gel, but I, I prefer gels that are really like transparent and kind of liquidy. But this works too. I just prefer like a liquidy gel. And here in the back, hydrating leave-in curl refresher spray. I use that just to refresh. I never use it to style my hair. I'm going to have to try it. But when I want to just refresh the look, I just re-wet a little bit and put some of this on. It looks really nice. Then we have their clarifying shampoo. And this is really, really good. You only need a little bit. Let me see. I'm almost halfway done. You only need just a little bit for your hair. And it leaves your hair so clean. So when I want to clarify, I have this one. And then they're leaving conditioner, which is really good. Let me put all this stuff back. So that's the mesh. All right, so we're getting there. So underneath, I have these products over here. I have some products from Luz. Some oils I like to use back here. Ugh, let's start from the back. Oh, this is just the box from um, the Be Hairful brush. I left it back. There's a really good brush. They sent me that on Instagram. And I've been using it for a long time. I'm not going to lie. I used that one on the Demon brush. They're really good. And over here we have products from Lust. This is the conditioner, the shampoo I already ran out of. But this is really good. I tried their system. It's like one, two, three. So the shampoo is going to be number one. This conditioner is number two. And then the step three is like all in one you don't have to use gel or anything and i tried it like that and i liked it but since i live in florida and it gets hot and humid i like need a gel so i'm glad they sent me this this is their irish sea moss gel like the three step and then i use the gel on the end and it looks really nice but I ran out of the shampoo, so I'm going to have to try to get that. And then the side, we have Royal Lux. They're like a company, a small company from Instagram. They sent me their leave-in conditioner and cream gel with argan oil. And these, both of these, I loved. I took these in my little travel um, cases to go to Miami for a weekend. And my hair looks so nice. It works so good for my hair. So I'm guessing for summer hair and... Hot weather, these are really good. This over here says beauty, beauty and science curl activator. I haven't used this yet. I have to try it out to see like if it's used as a curl cream or gel or whatnot, but I don't know yet, but I have it here to try out next. Over here, I have a couple of oils that like I said, I like to use oils. I use oils before I shampoo and after and on my ends and all that. like. I'm team oil. I've heard all over YouTube and stuff like, oh, it's not good for you. Some people say it is. Oil has always worked for me, so I use oils. And I got here um, pure Jamaican black castor oil from Shea Moisture. I have the jojoba oil from Pattern. I'm probably almost out of all of these. And I have the pure argan oil from Shea Moisture. So what I do, I just, I mix them all together. The only oil I don't like is coconut oil. I tried coconut oil and I found it dried up my hair afterwards. But when I like researched a little bit, um, they were saying coconut oil has something that mimics protein. So if you use too much, it's like, it's like you putting too much protein in your hair and that's why it feels so dry. So no coconut oil for me. The only time I use coconut oil is when I dye my roots. I use coconut oil just to protect from the peroxide that's it but i only use it before i dye i dye my hair and then i shampoo out like an hour later so it's not like i'm leaving it in like these oils that coconut oil i use before dyeing my hair doesn't affect the color at all so and i've been doing that for like years since i've been dyeing my hair 
here on the right i gotta get up for this one on the right i have this deep repair mask from macadamia natural oil i found this at marshall's the other day and i bought it because i remember i used to use this like years ago and then i didn't see it anymore like in sally's beauty supply so since I saw it, I'm like, let me get and try it out again. But I haven't tried it out like recently, so I can't tell you. But I remember it used to be really, really good. So let me know if you used to use this or is it just me? So then over here, I have most of what's left up here is from Zoto's Professional. And it's there all about curls line. So I worked with them last year. Well, I got sent. Let me see their low lather cleanser, their soft definition gel, high definition gel, boosting foam, um, finishing curl spray, their leave-in detangler. Oh, I remember this, I like this a lot. Their leave-in detangler. We have the creams, one says bouncy cream, one says taming cream. And this is their curl quench after color conditioner. I tried this after I colored my hair and I liked it a lot. Over here, I have the They're All About Curls Divine Treatment, which I use too and I like. So on the bottom, I have like these two baskets. This basket is like, honestly, miscellaneous. I have like so much stuff in there. I really need to go all over this and like redo it. When I do, I'll show you, but it's organized for now. But you know, I could do better. In this bag is where like my hair stuff is. Those over there are probably boxes. Oh, these are silk or satin. Um, let me look. I got sent this from Yanni Best. And I was looking for these. Look how pretty. These are satin pillowcases. Look at the color. If you've seen my videos, you know I love these colors. So I was looking for these to change up my bedding because I've been using like the white one, a white satin pillowcase for a while. So now I know what this is. I think over here is where the bonnet was. Let me see. Empty. I think the bonnet was here. So in here, I have like my satin bonnets. These are from... These are really nice. These, this is from a store on Instagram. It's called Madison Camille. They're like reversible. I have a microfiber towel. Another bonnet. This from Lost. I have a silk pillowcase. I got, probably got this from Ulta. So that's what I stuff in here. So that's all this area. And on this side, I have some things up there, some eyeshadow palettes, these two baskets that have hair stuff, which I'm gonna go through soon. On this shelf, I have like rocks and weird crystals and stuff. This, my son gave me this. And I just keep them here. I need to, I need another space for them because this is already full. Then I have these products here. So I'm going to show you real quick. This is what I got sent like recently. I try to put them here. So I remember when I'm going to do my hair to use like the new stuff. So I could at least give a review, you know, give my opinion on it. And I got this set sent from Royal Frizz Edge from Instagram, she sent me like the whole, the hydrating shampoo, leave-in conditioner. I have their jelly and the Ocean Protein Mask. I know it smells really, really good. I've used the gel so far and I loved it, but I have to use like the whole thing all in one day to see if I like it all together. So then over here, I have these things from Moroccan Oil. We have the hydrating shampoo, hydrating conditioner, and their styling cream. And when I use the gel, I try this cream. And I love that combination. On this side, we have more Uncle Funky Daughters products. It's the purifying cleanser, deep conditioner. It's like that um, thermal protection line. Well, I haven't tried this. It's not like for curly hair. I haven't been like that excited to try it, but I have to try that out. It says purifying, so it might be like clarifying. I need to try that out. In the back bread i think they're called bread essentials beauty they sent me two of their hair gels and i tried this out yesterday and it was really good let me open it for you so there's like the packaging it's a really nice hair gel it's like for a lot of definition it's a strong hold so because i tried it yesterday so that's the stuff that i keep here it's always changing because when i'm finished trying this out i'll just put it over there to the left and then just add the new stuff and in these two baskets this one is mostly 
scrunchies, bandanas, hair stuff that doesn't fit in my drawer. So I just threw it in here. And this one I can show you real quick. So this is everything all laid out. I have a couple of travel size products from Living Proof which I like, I've used before. Um, this is a hairspray, it's a really good hairspray. I think this is another one, just different packaging. We have some dry shampoo from Pravana, from Dry Bar, Living Proof, Amica. This is Dry Bar too. These I got newer. I ordered something from Ulta and they had like um, free with purchase and I got like a couple of these. This is the Chi Dry Shampoo. This is like an anti anti frizz dry oil i've used this before i like this this is the bumble and bumble invisible oil this is really good too the batiste dry shampoo i see this very popular i see this all over the place um joyco dry shampoo another living proof dry shampoo the hairspray i've this brand i've never seen before it says Kristen s so i have a couple of dry shampoos here so i could try them out so I don't have to be washing my hair every five days. And then this, I got this with a purchase. It's from Diva Curl. It says Curl Bond Recoiling Treatment Mask. And I'm going to be honest, I used Diva Curl back in the day when I started with the curly hair. And I didn't like it for nothing. I found it didn't work for me. I think my hair got worse. And I know a lot of people felt the same way. So I don't know about this, but since it's a mask, I might try. I'm going to look into the ingredients. And if I think it's safe... I'll try this out. So this is like my hair, my dry shampoo collection. I know if I would have um like straight hair and blow out hair and whatnot, I would probably use this a lot more, but there's no reason for me not to use it just because my hair is curly. Now for the last part of the video, this video is gonna be long. I'm gonna, I have a drawer where I organize all my hair stuff. I bought these organizers from Amazon. I wanted to have like all my hair accessories in one place. So this is what I came up with. Here I have like little clips for like hairstyles. I have these ties. I used to use them a lot before, but now I'd rather use like the satin scrunchies. I have these small little rubber band type ties. They're so bad for your hair, but there's some styles like for summertime when I do small braids, this is what I like to use, even though I know that like the worst. Every time I use one of these, I can't even get it out of my hair. I have to cut it out. Back here, I have these kind of clips just to clip my hair out of my face. Then we have the OG clips that I use when I'm dyeing my hair or deep conditioning. Here I have satin scrunchies, small ones. This is from Blush Silk. This is a company on Instagram, so pretty. This one too, there's like a bigger one, a pink one. Here I have the famous clips. Have two back here. Here are my brushes for styling. This is the Be Hairful brush, the Denman brush. This is a little brush I use for my edges. This is like a new one because the other one's in my bathroom and it's like destroyed. But it's exactly like this one. I have like bigger elastics, which I try not to use, but I have them here just in case. Here I have these little, like these little jewelry pieces. I got these on Amazon and I like to use this when I do braids in my hair, like small little braids to decorate. They look really cute. Over here I have a scalp scrubber. And I think that's it, that's all my hair stuff. I kind of wish I could have had like this drawer over there with all the hair products I have, but our IKEA shelving system has no drawers, so it has to be all the way over here in my desk. So if you watched the whole thing, thank you for staying this far with me. If you have any questions, you could just ask me in my comments. And if you like curly hair or natural hair and stuff like that, you could go look for me on Instagram. I do a lot of curly hair content over there. And thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.